what have we here, you ask? Well, um, after the, the DSLR cameras flash stopped working, I went ahead and I set up a GoPro. And right now they're off because they're sensing the light, but these are night lights that, um, you know, once it gets dark, they illuminate. You can see one of them just tripped on by coming into the shadow of my finger. When there's no light here, they, um, they both turn on. And they're the illumination source now for the worm bin because they don't seem to be scared away by those dimly glowing blue lights. So um, I don't want to I don't want to expose the the front surface of the glass to the light of my camera phone and you know kind of create a jerky reaction and have them all fleeing from the light. I just wanted to give a quick status update just to show that um, there is still an effort to continue tracking the progress of this bin with a time lapse so just a quick update and um hopefully we'll get a, a good product from this this is the video that was put up on youtube of the layered worm bin for the first month um, up to the point where the flash stopped working on the nikon so here it is already past all the scrolling text right before it zooms out uh, this is as far as we got now those frames for that time lapse were derived from still images from the Nikon that looked like this. You could see I had to do some correction. I, I took that sort of converging horizon um, fading away um, vanishing point and straightened the top of it out so it doesn't do that so much and blacked out the, um, the background a bit. I masked that off. So that's how we ended up with this. And now that if um, now that if from this point on we're going to need to continue with frames in, in, uh, that are created from the images that the GoPro is taking using that um, using the night lights, this is what we're left with. These are the types of images that are going to be combined to um, to create the time lapse. So there again, I have control over a little bit to the per you know I have a little bit of control over the perspective, the way it looks. So I could straighten that up here too, and then. The little bit of color correction, I'm sort of coming up with uh, something that attempts to match the original if possible, but it's not that important. I guess what's really interesting is to see how things change over time. Although if it, if it were possible to get it to look more natural the way the Nikon did, then I will be um, trying to give myself a crash course in color correcting to see if I can make that happen. If you're out there and you know how to make that happen, you know, any advice would be appreciated. So that's, that's where we're at right now, so uh, at this point we wait. We wait and we wait and we wait. So, All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye now. Oh yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.